Hi guys, I'm Jordine and welcome back to Sedwana Bay. Join us as we take a look at some of the most fascinating insects you might have not noticed. For the whole of winter, they have been in the state of Torpor waiting for the heat of the summer and the first rains to arrive. During summertime, dung piles come alive with scarabs that we call dung beetles. There are 780 species of dung beetles in South Africa alone. They are capable of discovering and removing most of the dung in just one day, returning nutrients to the soil as well as germinating seeds too. They do not only remove majority of the dung, but also destroy the eggs of internal parasites, which in return reduces pest population. Dung beetles have an amazing ability to navigate using polarized lights generated by the moon. Dung beetles range in size from the smallest species at 5 mm to the largest at 50 mm. They can live for two years. We characterize them by the way they dispose of dung. The most popular image of a dung beetle is the one of them rolling a big ball of dung. That is created by the African dung beetle, a telecoprid. Rolling balls 50 times heavier than themselves. They take them to be eaten or buried elsewhere to avoid competition from other dung beetles, like the kleptoprids, who as half their name states, steals dung balls and use them to eat and lay their own eggs into. Dung beetles are extremely important in maintaining a healthy ecosystem here in Sudwana. And unfortunately, this little creature is considered an endangered species. Please take care and tread lightly as you are driving along our roads. Lots of dung beetles are around discovering and collecting all of the dung laying around. Thank you for joining us on our exploration of our important dung beetles. Subscribe, like and comment for more videos. See you next time.